Yes. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 11 to 36 of season two. I'm here at the Richmond International Raceway for the running the Pontiac Excitement 400, the first night race of the season, and we even got a beautiful paint job to paint job to match under the lights. Very similar to Dale Jr.'s Tax Slayer car that he's probably not going to run for another race this year. Feel the music the moment you want. Lego. See, even the paint, the paint just pops, and at night races like this, it just pops out at you like, ha, <laughs> like, hey, look, I'm driving a red, white colored race, car, a Tax Slayer themed race car, and holy crap, a 13 second lap, and I'm already in turn three. Yes, this is a pretty short racetrack. The time is another pole. Are you kidding? Bruh. Oh, cars. God. Mm. Ouch. Don't know how my car kept control even though I didn't put freaking analog on. Pole position even though I caked the inside outside wall in turn three. Jesus. Anyways, I knocked Rusty Wallace off the pole. Let's get it. Let's get it started. As usual, I'm going to show the top 10 starting lineup and trill and troll for alternate paint schemes. And it looks like Joe Nemechek and Kyle Petty have alternate schemes in this race. Joe Nemechek with his 2000, 2003 Looney Tunes paint scheme. And Kyle Petty with his 2001 Charity Ride Dodge. It's very unusual for Jeff Gordon to start mid-pack in this game, though at times it can get common. It's very unusual for Gordon to start mid-pack. He's usually up really close to the front. Anyways, 40 laps, pace car is off. My favorite racetrack, great flag into the air. We're racing at Richmond. Whoa, don't want to repeat it Arlington. Matt Kenseth on the inside, but I'm going to try to get the power move on the outside. I take the lead, but Kenseth has the preferred line. I think Kurt's going to try to follow him. Kenseth powers off four. Kenseth barely leads lap number one. 
Diplot's pinning me up top. Here comes Kurt Busch on the inside. Looks like I'm going to be a stubborn little fool. Oh, bro. oh, wow. Look at Kansas shoot way up the racetrack. Kansas shot way up the racetrack in turn three. I came down on Kurt Busch, and now he's mad at me. Yeah. Well, you're probably going to get a lot of rivals at short tracks. Whoa, already. I'm loose. Wow, I just got out of the gas right there. Junior up to third. Whoa, Junior. Man, my car is loose. Can I just get to Matt Kenseth preferably before I pit at lap 20? And by preferably by lap 20, I mean now? To come out of turn number 4. Kenseth, Kenseth is a 3 tenths second lead. Oh god, the car is going to lose. Bad lose, too. Screw it, let's draft with Matt Kenseth for a while. Draft at a short track? Huh. Yes, this despite the fact that this is a track under a mile under a mile long, this is his, his characteristics of a super speedway, like Kansas or Charlotte. Judging by the curved front curved front stretch. As you see the front three is broken away from the field, but Kurt Bush is closely looking behind in fourth. Way to the inside. I take the lead. First time tonight at Richmond. Here comes Kenseth trying to charge the inside. Thinks better of it. And the car pushes up. Looks like could Kenseth get him. Doesn't have enough, enough of momentum. So we make our way down into turn one again. Wow, I'm pushing up bad. I'm going to have turn, turn two down the back stretch. Ken's, he wants the lead, and he's hungry. Oh, car pushed up. Car pushing up again. Give Ken's the spot. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that, Matt Ken's. Uh, short tracks. The only place in this game where you can't drop with anybody unless you want to hit them. Just an FYI, the accident was my fault. Here, I'll let him get by me here. And here comes Elliot Sadler making his way up to fourth with Michael Waltrip in fifth. Wow. Top five's changed. Changed a little bit with Kurt Busch slipping outside the top five. However, he is there. And here comes Kenza trying to charge the corner. They are there. Kenza to the outside. Look at that. One one thousandth of a second. He wants that lead. See Walter sitting there in fifth. Whoa, Kenza. I'm thinking he's not too happy. Kenza charging the corner in three. Takes the lead. More contact again. Between me and Kenza. Let's try to alleviate some of that, that beef. Oh, great. I just made it worse. Junior to second. Here we go. Ken's out of four. Oh, great. Can someone please move Ken's out of the way, please? I'm roughing him up quite a bit. Here I come to the inside of Junior. Oh, Ken's going to block. Oh, contact. Oh, Ken's is mad. Just for that, that on oh wow, I'm I got airborne because Kansas tried wrecking me off the corner and it more wrecked himself than anything. Wow, yeah, Matt Kansas, don't ever piss him off, otherwise he'll be using the art of Tai Chi's and jump you behind a hauler, or he'll just straight up run you into the wall. And with that, Matt Kansas lost almost two seconds on me. As I lead lap, lap for 14, coming down the back stretch, diving into turn three. Oh, car pushed up. Out of four. 
come to the start finish line, light another lap. Oh, this might get tired. Coming down the back stretch. And the oh, wow. Man, this car is tight. It's constantly pushing up, up towards the wall again. What's going on? Something's screwy. I think somebody tightened my car before the race. I mean, made it really tight. Because it does not go through turn three very well. I'm going to have turn number four. Back down into turn one. So, ha, uh, summer cross country runs. Hey, at, le at least they're finally fixed this year. All of them starting at a good time in the morning where everybody's up. 8.30 instead of freaking 7, 8, 10.30, 9, 9.30. And they were scattered out of brain last year with the times for the cross-country workouts hey, at least this year they're all either in the morning or in the afternoon oh contact in the afternoon so considering I've already beat my car up let's uh I'm not gonna repair damage it didn't look too bad short tracks have worse damage I've seen cars at short tracks that are much worse than this so let's pit this time and jam on the brakes Oh, don't get loose. Don't get loose. Right side, no fuel. Tighten it up. Half turn. Here's we come down pit road. Matt Kenseth. Might want to avoid him. The incidents between Kenston and Kurt were my fault. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 16. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, boys. Whoa. Get a little. It's coming out of turn four. Out of turn two. Back on the front stretch. Negotiating lap traffic in the form of David Green. And oh, my God, my car is tight. And Kevin LePage. First car one lap down at the moment. Oh, wow. Man, this thing's tight. Change the right side's left. Fraud. I feel if we get a caution, like a late caution, just like Atlanta, there's probably going to be a couple guys wanting a gun for me. And how many cars are a lap down? The whole field is a lap down. Huh. And looks like Mark Martin currently is the leader of the Pontiac Simon 400. Coming out of turn two. Mark Martin has the entire race on lock. Got a juke. Juke down the apron. Under Ward Burton. Under Greg Biffle. Clearing two cars in one pass. I'm out of turn number four. Pa under Mayfield. Under Ashton Lewis. Hopefully, it doesn't wreck me deliberately. And under Hermie Sadler, which I've made mad at Martinsville, by the way, as you can notice by the red mark. A little bit of contact, even though we weren't even three wide in any situation. Casey Mears is going to try to run me the apron contact. Act there, no further incident. Hey, look, Mark Martin leads. With uh, Mike Skinner, and I'm closing. I want to get my lap back. I wonder if he's going to pit. And I'm there. Can I get my lap back? Coming down through turn three. 
Let's see, what can we do? Clear him. I have him. Wow, I'm tight. I got I got past Mark, but can I clear him? I get my lap back. Here we go. Just gotta hope we don't get a caution because I don't want to get stuck on the outside with a line of 41 other lap drivers. Whoa, McMurray! Into the wall. And this is why you don't cut me off going into turn one, otherwise I will send somebody. Charging Christian Vipaldi, getting, getting past him. And Mark Martin, I believe he's pitting. Mark Martin's pitting right now. I am down in turn one. Gone past Jeff Burton. Through turn three. We don't need a pit. Screw that. I've reassumed the lead. Reassumed command today at Rich Command at Richmond. Make our way down to turn three. Car pushing up a little bit. Whoa, Robbie Gordon. Trying to cut me off a little bit. Cut me off going to the bottom. Causing me to get way out of the groove. See, Johnny Benson in the 10. Ricky Craven 32. Robbie Gordon 31. Try to get a run on him. Wow, 12, almost 12 seconds. A little over 11 seconds up on Kurt Busch. Got to be nice. Go, learn to negotiate lap traffic it is probably the only way you'll survive at short tracks. Whoa, I'm drifting. Drifting way into pit road right there. Contact between me and Johnny Benson. No caution. Yeah, Benson charged that corner right there on the inside. That I got his lap back, but I'm going to put him a lap down anyway because I'm awesome. Oh, contact there. Everybody's good. We're still good right now. Oh, caution's out. First caution for debris. And I think somebody might have cut a tire. After my hood came off spontaneously. Coming out of turn four. I'm another caution. Whoa, almost missed my hood. Almost cut my tire on my own hood. Wow, that could have been bad if I got my tire on my hood. Two laps to go tonight at Richmond. Kurt Busch straight to the outside. Oh, God, I'm tight. Come on. Got to get Tony. Here comes Stewart. I'm charging. Got a huge run on the outside. Bump and Kurt. Oh, contact. Contact. Out of turn four. Coming to the white flag. I barely lead that lap. Michael Waltrip and Kurt Busch fighting for second. But Waltrip, can he get there? Be his first win not on a restricted, on a non restricted plate race. Here he comes. In it turns three and four. Can he get there? Not enough. I win this Chevrolet from Pontiac. Pontiac Excitement 400 goes to Dylan Murway at Richmond. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bounce off the wall there. I suppose my car's in one, one piece. Ouch. I don't know what happened. My car is got tight. I just did a good run between me and Kurt Busch, got in the hit, cut him off, but of course I had some contact with, um, I had some totally unplanned contact with uh, Jamie McMurray, even though he cut me off going into the corner, because uh, Chase Elliott, because 
Jamie McMurray is blind as a bat. And the thing with Matt Kenseth was also my my fault. Now, let's go to Victory Lane. How about this? I've lost count of how many wins I've gotten, but it should be close to nine. Okay, minus 76 for Kenseth, minus 50 for Kirk Bush, minus 40 for Jamie McMurray. Jamie McMurray's was entirely his fault, by the way. And minus 36 for Ward Burton. The top 10 tonight. I win today's Tonight's Pontiac Excitement 400, followed by Michael Waltrip in second, Ryan Newman third, Jimmy Johnson fourth, Kurt Busch fifth, Tony Stewart sixth, Rusty Wall seventh, Bobby Lamonti eighth, Matt Kenseth ninth, and Dale Jarrett tenth. Now, who fell out? Jeff Green fell out of, not sure if he fell out of the race, but... Jeff Green fell out of the race at 20 laps. Pretty much anybody from Sadler on down was um, a lap behind. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the point standings. Coca-Cola 600 is going to be the next race, by the way. Points. Looks like it could be a two horse race between me and Dale Jr. or I could just run away with this thing again, just like season one. So I respect, a lot of rivals. And then for the awards, I've got the Budweiser Pull Award. Gatorade front runner and the fast pace award. Like I said earlier, the next race is going to be at the Charlotte Lowe's Motor Speedway for race 12 to 36 of season two for the running of the Coca Cola 600. We will see you then.